Hi everyone, welcome to Swift Look Linux. I'm Darren D, and today we're looking at Fedora 18 Beta. A couple of things listed on the website says being improved are uh, the terminals come with 256 colors instead of 8 colors now, so it's going to be prettier to look at. It comes with GNOME 3.6 version of GNOME 3, which is by miles, in my opinion, the best user interface that there is for Linux at the moment. Uh, you can have mate integration for all those people that are still living in the past. Firewall is now the default firewall software instead of IP tables. Let's have a look. This is what it looks like. I use Fedora uh, as my native Linux desktop, but I won't be updating until Fedora 18 until it goes stable, so I've never seen this or played with this, so I can't really tell you much about it, And apart from that's what it looks like. You don't need to restart your firewalls if you make any changes to your rules, which is kind of handy, I guess. Uh, it comes with Samba 4 and native management software and it also comes with uh, storage system management CLI tools as well. So all that to look forward to. A uh, couple of other minor differences. Up here you don't have your programs uh, list anymore. It's down there. These are the programs that you can expect. Ooh, there they are. Great. One of the other things people are talking about is that it has a new Python installer. Take a quick look at that. Performance might not be fantastic. I've only given it one gig of RAM and two um, virtual processors. So, and it's running in VirtualBox and it's also a live CD. So all these things slow it down a little bit. I did install it natively actually on one of my other computers and it was very responsive. Okay, English UK. We'll accept it because we know it's unstable. It's fine. When you want to change the keyboard in this new installer, you have to click on the one that you want, and then you have to go down here and put it up to the top. That threw me the first time I saw it. Couldn't figure out how to get it off of US. And if you want to go in here, you can pick your disk that you want this little option down here. Oh, no. Go down here and click on continue and then you should come up with a box that gives you the options customize the partitioning of your disk, work out your partition scheme. I've got BTRFS, you can actually select it now. Uh, there were rumors that that was going to appear in Fedora 17 but it didn't show up did it? But now there it is on Fedora 18. Alright, and once you're all done and dusted, you just click on begin installation. It starts the installation across the bottom and at the top comes up with one more of these boxes where you can set the root password and then that's pretty much everything finished. I'm not going to do it though because I don't actually want to install it. So there you go, a swift look at Fedora 18. If you found this video interesting and you'd like to show your appreciation without spending any money, then please click like and subscribe. It helps people like me who put things out like this on YouTube and we're always very grateful.